Welcome back. I'm Rachel. I'm Kathy. And it's Rachel's favorite. It's another copper product. Oh, it's a red <laughs> copper five minute chef. Cooks five meals, minutes. snacks, desserts in minutes. Minutes, minutes you say? Minutes. <laughs> with Rachel's a favorite. Yay! Dressing. Yay! So here it is. It's it has the two plates so you can flip it. It looks like a bullet. Like a big What's well, down? Kinda. Does it? Yeah. Well, look at that. It's a storage. Yeah. So it's not too big. I'll tell you, I have been using this for yes. the past week. Uh huh. And I'm kind of liking it. <laughs> Especially <laughs> if you can't make over easy eggs. If you always pop the yolk whenever you flip it, this, this is what you need. But it's a nonstick surface, and it is PFOA and PFT. P-T-F-E free. And we still don't know what that means. <laughs> so we are going to put it to the test. Awesome. All right. So we're going to start with an omelet. And it has a red and green light. This is when the green light comes on, it's ready. Right. Yes. All right. So this is two eggs. And it heated up very quickly. Yeah. All right. Yes, cook two minutes and then flip it and cook two minutes more. Okay, it's been two minutes. I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna look at it first. Oh, it's cooking, it's good. So let me flip it. Ooh, heard that. All right, two more minutes. It's only been another minute, but I think it's done. So to me, this really doesn't look like an omelet. It looks a little dry, yeah. maybe. Yeah. I mean, it cooked fast. Mm hmm What, three minutes? Three minutes. Mm hmm It, um... It's a little... Dry? Yeah. What? A beauty vlogger. <laughs> oh. That's what they do. Yeah. It's just dry. It's dry. No. Very dry. I'm gonna try over easy now, and I'll show you how easy it is. Okay, okay. All right, now, oh, I forgot to mention, it does come with this red, red rubber spatula. So it says to put butter. Okay. And how long have you, you've been letting it heat up a while, but yeah. how long does it usually take to heat up? A little more than a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. All right, let's mm -hmm. put one egg. Okay. Do you typically just cook one or do you do two? Usually I just do one. Okay. I have done two. Okay. All right, so. After one minute. I'll look at it. Mm -hmm. And for me, that I'm ready to flip that. I guess it depends okay. on how hard or soft you like your yolk. So okay. So okay. Just like that. Just like that. All right. All right. Let's see. Two minutes total. Ooh. Okay. All right. Let's check it out. Ooh, look at that. that. Yep, the that's a perfect didn't. over easy. I think it's super yummy. On to the next thing. Okay, so Kathy's going to show us how easy it is to, to clean. clean. So it's not that dirty. Mm -hmm. You know what I would do is maybe um, wad up some wet paper towels and just put it in there and clamp it. That's what I used to do with the George Foreman grill. All right, so in the cookbook they had a... They had I'm coming a, up. I'm coming up. Uh, to use like a corn dog, to use cornbread mm -hmm. and a hot dog. I did that, did not... It didn't work. It tastes like a hot dog with cornbread. Yeah, and cornbread and or right. hot dog and cornbread. So I thought we could try the crescent roll, hot dog with the crescent. Okay. The pig in a blanket. Pig in a blanket. <laughs> Yay! So we will see. Okay. All right. Roll her up. Let's see. Might as well do two. Here. Um. See. What do you think the time on this? A couple minutes. Okay. Each side. I don't know. All right. Minutes. So it's been about two minutes. So let's see. Now let's see if the crescent roll is done or not. So I had it not touched the top. I could have flipped it. Let's see. Oh yeah. It's a little doughy. It's not really burnt. Mm -hmm. Almost. It's like it's right not, there on the edge. Yeah. It's still doughy. 
Yeah, I right there it's still dewy. This is the hot dog. It's hot. Mm -hmm. We have extra dough here, so we're going to try a little turnover. And then just put this a teeny tiny bit. Yep, no, no, yep, there. Flat. So this isn't as high. <clears throat> so hopefully you can flip it yeah. without it getting too good. So okay. let's see. All right. All right, it's been two minutes. So this is good that oh, it's it, puffing this up. didn't yeah. touch this side. Mm -hmm. So let's flip it. And it's puffing up, so that's good. And it's easy to flip. I mean, mm -hmm. you can do it one hand. I mean, this is hot, mm -hmm. but it's not like it's... Oh, oh yeah, look at that. that. So let's let that cook for two <clears throat> minutes on that side. Okay. Okay, another two minutes. Okay. Look at that. So I think it looks pretty good. I do too. I think it might be cooked in the middle. I have to see if it's heated up. It's not doughy in the middle. Mm -hmm. Seems cooked. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, what if we put this side back in? Let's okay. See. Okay, so let go a couple more minutes. It still didn't okay. get any browner though. No, that's a good sign. So let's see if it looks like it. I think it looks like it did cook more. Yes, it's cooked. Look at that. So okay. that's probably like five minutes, I guess, right? Yeah. So five minutes, Chef. Mm -hmm. It's hot. It is hot, so that's good. Because it, <clears throat> it heats up the apple pie filling. I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. So we are going to try. That's what they were used for their pie, was pie. Instead real pie. Real pie dough. Not. Real pie dough. Now let's see. Gotta get that shape, which is a weird shape. I don't know why they shaped it this way. It's, it would be nice if they had like a little template, you know? It should be like, yeah, that would be cool. Oh, wait. Um, hold on. Hold on. I have an idea. I'm gonna press that. I'm gonna make an impression. Oh, there we go. Look at you. Let's call you Martha. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Be pretty, but you know, it's, it's oh, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so now let's. Oh, let me flip it and see what it looks like. Okay. Do you want to try flipping it? You haven't flipped it. Yeah. See how sure. Do. That's better. Well, let's flip it back. Here, I'll flip it. Let's see. Do yeah, I? There's a latch. Here, I should so. latch it first. Oh, honey, I'd be run. There'd be stuff running out on me. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> it has this I know it's got the lip. Okay. All right. So let's which, even when I cook it pie in the oven, sometimes I have a hard time getting it done all the way. Mm -hmm. It seems like the dough yeah. seems... Uh, uh, about nine and a half, ten, yeah. So, so it's like, okay. At some point... Can you make a little one in the oven? Is it... I is guess it that's, really saving time? Or I yeah, guess... See, that still looks a little doughy on the inside. Yeah. Holy cow, it's hot. Watch yourself. Kathy, did you burn your mouth? <laughs> we can see where the lip was, where... Yeah. I like the crescent rolls better. Yeah, I think the butter, because butter makes everything better. better. I'm looking at the recipe in the recipe book. It says, and this is for a stuffed lava cake, so it wants to use a candy bar. We're not going to do that. But it also takes a cake mix and uses like soda. Right. As opposed to right. I want to see traditional the regular preparation. Right. One will mix. Exactly. Make a football shaped uh, cake. Cake. All righty. Here we go. So we're at five minutes on the cake. Oh, look. Flop mm. over? Nope. nope. This is a little, a little prod. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So you have it. <laughs> kind of weird looking cake. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's done. Yep, done all the way. Look at that. Gee, I wonder how it tastes. <laughs> That's cool. Mmm, yum. Well, nothing like fresh, hot cake. Now, Kathy's gonna do the five minute express pizzas. Which I tried last night. Uh -huh. Used, you know, like a Pillsbury or refrigerated dough. So this she's got. And what I, I tried this last night, but I used the original crust. This is a thin crust. Because okay. I thought with the original crust, it got real puffy. It got, mm -hmm. it's pretty big, but I didn't feel like it got cooked in the middle. Okay. So I thought I would try the thin crust to see if that worked better. Okay. All right. Mm. So you put that in there. Toppings and additional cheese. Cover and lock it for five minutes. Mm. 
this little turkey sausage. It says, cook it for four minutes, lift lid and check. If you like it a little browner, then flip it. I don't know if I want to flip the cheese. Yeah, I agree. Four minutes. Ooh, that looks pretty. Well, let's flip it and see what happens. It's gonna stick. Oh, oh. Okay, we're at five minutes. Okay, so let's, this is, let's flip very, it back. I'm very scared about this. You know, it might, it might make a mess. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> it browned that cheese for sure. Yeah. I'm going to it again. We're going to share it. See? It is really thin. It's it done. Thin. It's done. Yeah. That's the good thing. Where the other thicker one really wasn't done. Hot. Hot. It's hot. I don't know. It, well. it reminds me of French bed pizzas I used to make when I was a kid. Okay. So... To be honest, I have done this, and this is probably my least favorite. So. Chicken breast, okay. The recipe they have is for a stuffed chicken breast, mm -hmm. but I'm just gonna do it. Okay. And how long? 15. Okay. It's getting hot. <laughs> okay, so that's 10 minutes. What a, a thin, thinner chicken breast. Yes, it's not super thick. No. It's a plain cooked chicken breast. You can't really screw that up. This was a super long video, but we wanted to test it out. Yeah, give it our I think we ran it through all the paces. Yes. So the Red Copper Five Minute Chef. Your two cents? It's cute. I really like the pieces. I don't eat a lot of over easy eggs, so I can see why. I, it just, it's cute. Um, would I use it? Probably not. <laughs> what What do you think? I really like it for the eggs. I okay. Mean, if I was one, if I traveled a lot, mm -hmm. I would probably take this with me. Mm -hmm. And so, because I think most, you know, the most hotel breakfasts are crap. A little they're lacking. Like, they're very carb heavy and we don't and want a lot of carbs. And they're usually powdered eggs. Right, right. So, I would totally use this in the room because I, I right. even, you know, one day I did actually just scramble an egg mm -hmm. on top of here and it worked great. Gotcha. I yeah, wouldn't use it for the, for the, for the omelet. For the omelet I wasn't yeah. that impressed with, but... Well, the eggs over easy, I think they're great. And I think Kathy brings up a good point. Like when I travel, I really like to stay in a hotel that has like a, a mini fridge and a microwave. But just like when, when the two cent chicks went to Vegas, we had a, did we have a, no, we no, didn't even have a fridge. Because we put it on ice. That's we right. We fridge, but it was We made stuffed. our own fridge with a stuffed. styrofoam cooler in our bathtub. Right. But um, this, I could have seen us using that. Right. <laughs> we, we, I mean, we'd have had to put our eggs in a cooler. Right. But, you know, I don't mind, you know. I, I would do that. The desserts, uh, I, I did like, I mean, the cake was good. good would things. you use that at home? No. Versus, well, for me, if, I love the pizza. I thought the pizza the was pizza great. Was good. But if I'm making it for my family, I'm going to be right. really annoyed that I'm sitting there and trying to make pizza. I mean, I guess you, the positive is everybody can make their own pizza. So that's true. That's great. But then you've got to sit there and what would normally be, you know, you could put five of them in that, four or five in the oven at right. one time. you got to sit and make each of them at a time. So I think for one or two people, it might be yeah. good for that. But I think this is definitely one of the better copper. This is better than the Flip Witch, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, because you're not using the stove, too. But um, Right. I'm giving it a thumbs up. Oh, the price, it was $39.99, uh -huh. which seemed a little high for me. I did yeah, I could see it more $29.99. 29 yeah. Or even, you know, yeah. $24.99. Right. So, um, yeah, I mean, and I'm torn because I can see what you're saying about taking it to travel, which maybe I'll just borrow yours. Um, yeah, but so if we were younger, I think we would have a different use if we didn't have a family, yeah, if we were yeah. single. I mean, when I was single, I used my George Foreman all the time. Like, right. every day I used it. And, and to me, it reminds me of that. Even though I honestly feel but, if you are a lover of uh, over easy eggs, over medium, you whatever, get one. you should get and, one. And you suck at doing them on the stove, which some people do. Yeah. This works Is great every time. I'm just no, I can make them. <laughs> I but I just you. find this very easy. But this easy. was easier than doing it. If my it husband there. sucks at it, so yeah. he could, he he could, could do use it this himself. easily. Sure. For me, I really like that. Cool. So, anyway. Well, anyway, if you've tried this or something similar, comment below. Let us know. Don't forget to like. And yes. share with your friends and the bell. Yes, make the sure bell's you, important. The bell is very important. If it's you have it, more important than next, you realize. Next to su subscribe, there's a bell. Please hit the bell. Yeah, because just if you subscribe, you may ne not necessarily know we post a new one. You gotta hit the bell to know we post a new one. That's right. Yes. We'd appreciate it if you would take the time to do that. All right. Thank you. Bye. Have a great day.